Welcome back to Make Magazine's Weekend Projects. I'm Kip K. Now, I love all living things, I suppose, but there have been times in my life, I must admit, where I've killed a mosquito that's been on my neck or even used a fly swatter for those pesky flies. But there are some insects that are really beneficial. For example, spiders. Now, if you have a garden, spiders are such good predators that they actually are beneficial for gardening. A lot of people are creeped out about spiders and other insects, so if you would like to eliminate these little insects from your world, there's a great project and a fun one that's in Make Volume 6. It's called the Spider Rifle, and it effectively removes and traps unwanted insects from your world. So let's make it. To build the spider rifle, you're going to need a hose clamp, some half inch PVC, and a number of different PVC connectors, a PVC cutting tool or hacksaw. I'm using a PVC tool, which is much easier to use and creates less harmful dust, and our propellant, which is a can of air duster. Measure and cut an 18 inch piece of PVC, along with two four inch pieces, and a couple of smaller pieces about three quarters of an inch long. Now out to the shop where we'll take our half inch T fitting and after putting it in a vise, we're going to drill a 3 30 seconds hole right through the center top. The straw for your air duster will go in this hole, so check it and make sure it's a snug fit. Now we're going to vise down a half inch end cap and using the same drill bit, drill as many holes as you can in this cap. You can make sure you have good airflow by blowing through the end cap and this will also clean out any drill bit burrs. To make our valve that fits in the T fitting, we're gonna use some sturdy plastic like the top of a coffee lid. Put a piece of half inch PVC down on it and draw a circle around it and cut it out with a pair of scissors. And then we'll put it in one end of the T fitting all the way up to the ridge. Now make sure it uh, fits snugly and doesn't go through the T fitting. Then insert one of the four inch pieces of PVC you cut earlier into that end and that should hold the valve in place. When building the spider rifle, you can use PVC cement, but I found that all of my fittings were snug enough without it. Then we're going to put a 90 degree elbow on the other end of that 4 inch piece. Since our end cap is 1 inch and all of our other PVC is half inch, we need to somehow get from half inch to 1 inch, and I couldn't find a half inch to 1 inch coupler, so I used a couple of different fittings and made it work. Then we'll attach a 45 degree elbow to the bottom of our T fitting, and connect our end cap assembly to that. Now attach the other four inch piece to the other end of our 90 degree elbow, and then take our 18 inch piece of PVC and attach that to the other end of the T fitting. This will be our barrel. It helps to have a little bit of a larger nozzle at the end of our barrel, so we're gonna take a half inch coupler and cut that right in half and attach that to the very end of the barrel. And now it's time to add our propellant. Our air duster can will attach to the four inch handle piece using a hose clamp. Now you don't want it to be too tight because we are dealing with compressed air here, but uh, screw it down nice and snug and it'll hold in place. Then put the straw in the air duster nozzle and twist the other end of the straw around and insert it in the hole in the top of our T-fitting. This is what the completed spider rifle should look like. So how does this all work? Well, while shooting compressed air down into our end cap, it draws air through the end of the barrel and will draw anything else with it. Now I've added a bit of red paint to the spider rifle, I guess because it matched the red on the air duster can. Plus it, now it looks kind of cool. So let's test out our spider rifle on this spider right here. The spider's been sucked up, and now we'll open up our trap, and there he is. So we'll let this little guy go to build another web another day. That's how you make a spider rifle. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.